Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Hillendale Hot Rods. I'm Ward. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you get something out of it. I'm having fun doing it. Uh, if you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Give me a comment. Tell me where you're from. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. I'm just glad you're watching. Cheers. Back to the 1930 Ford Roadster Revival. Got a little progress uh, the last little while. I did this uh, upper lip. Um, I'm getting a little, a little tired of the back half at the moment. Um, I think I want to concentrate on the firewall. Uh, I, I want to use this tank, uh, sorry, it's a gas tank, obviously. I want to use the upper panel, but I don't want the old gas tank underneath there. It's actually uh, full of, I don't know if you can see, look it. <laughs> There's so many sticks in there. I guess it was a squirrel nest or something at one time. So um, I am going to remove the gas tank and um, I'm gonna cut the bottom out of it. Like I said, to retain the top panel. And uh, yeah, I'll take it out, cut that, grind it, should be dirty. Okay, I got the the fuel tank out. Uh, tell me if that wasn't a lovely experience. It was actually a little bit easier than uh, others that I've encountered. Um, it looks like somebody had actually taken a couple of screws out of it already. Um, so, well, thank you whoever took those screws out. So, tell me if you don't think I have some sediment. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but... Um, yeah, well, so what I plan on doing, I wanna cut all this out. Bang, like that. I believe there's some baffles inside, so I might keep them just for strength. Um, yeah, I think this is an outside job though. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's gonna be dirty. Dirty girl. I shall now use my plasma. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut some uh, peep holes in here. I kind of marked them out with the, uh, the chalk just to, uh, I wanna see where the baffles are. You guys, for goodness sakes, if you suspect there's fuel in it, do not cut into it. Make sure it's completely empty. I am completely sure that this is empty of fuel and full of squirrel nests, thus displacing any fuel. Well, 
didn't want to do that, so I... Oh, holy crap. See? No fuel. Okay, just as I suspected, there's a baffle right here. There's actually a baffle that runs that way too. I did not know that. Oh. All right, well, I got those two sides off. I got most, there's a lot there. Smoking uh, squirrel nest. Might be legal in Canada, but don't try this at home. Oh. I had to go get my toque on. It's, uh, it's not that cold. It's only about minus 15 today, but, um, well, a bit of a wind. I've got a kind of a mini blizzard going on, so my ears were froze edged. Okay, let's cut this center panel out, see what kind of surprises await. Hold my breath, by the way. Okay, I got the center section out. Uh, my wife will be very pleased that I did not do that in the house. So obviously there's uh, <laughs> consumables in there. So I, I threw some snow on it because it was on fire, but there's your action shot for the day. I'm gonna uh, try and get all that crap out of there and then I'll cut the rest of it. And by the way, my iPhone didn't like the cold, so it, uh, it shut off on me. Okay, I got her all cut apart. Um, for anybody that's interested, uh, that's what's inside. It's a series of baffles. Um, I left a, I left a lip on the edge of the top uh, just to retain the shape of it. But uh, I don't know if anybody knew this. This is uh, the float. It's actually a cork um, for the uh, the gas gauge, which is this is the inside of the gas gauge. So. I do believe this tank was completely void of any fuel. I thought I'd also share a uh, Manitoba sunset on February 1st, 2022. She's pretty and I got cold hands. I put the uh, panel back on top of the, well, where it was obviously before. Um, I got way more room under the dash for my long lanky legs. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> it didn't work for anything, so that was good. Well, that was a fun afternoon. I did it outside so my uh, shop didn't get smoky, but my exhaust fan sucked all the smoke in anyways. But anyways, the mess was outside. Oh, well, there it is. Before I go any further for any firewall work, I'm gonna uh, I got a brace 
between the uh, the A pillars, and uh, I want to clean up, you know, <laughs> when I cut out of there. But uh, yeah, that looks way better. I didn't need that dirty old squirrel nest of a gas tank. Well, tonight I want to do one last thing um, to this top panel. I want to take this uh, about a inch strip off here. Uh, I never really understood why other guys did it. Um, it's just uh, kind of nice to have that smooth top. I'm eventually going to take this off. It's it's not needed. It was kind of just to keep the the hood in place or whatever. There was welting up in here, but the the firewall actually goes back way past so it's it's just kind of dead area and it's it's ugly it's kind of a manitoba mosquito catcher i think what do you guys think Well, I completely understand why people smooth out that inch on uh, on these Model A's. Boy, does that ever look nice. Makes it look like it's going fast when it's standing still. Just smooths it right out. Perfect. So uh, on this particular beast, um, I'm going to have to modify the firewall quite a bit. I'll have a V8 in it of some sort. I'm not really sure what. I have a spare 302 Ford. So I, I really like the roundness. You see that kind of profile there, the radius. I really like that. So I'm gonna probably cut along here somehow, some way. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll probably have to get it on a chassis before I get to that. That hurdle, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That is all for tonight. Okay, this morning I wanna take this uh, former Model A gas tank that uh, we had the big smoke show yesterday and uh, just wanna clean it up a little bit. A lot of times we have to make a nice parallel line. You know, you can use your, your finger like that, you know, to make a space, but uh, I got a little help tip for you guys today if you use a, a washer I'll start down here maybe so I want to make a nice even cut line look at that eh? looks like a hot damn works for round corners Woohoo! it did earlier honestly there we go Now obviously if you want to get a little bit closer, it works too. So I just want to, I think I want to keep a little bit of the lip just to retain the shape of this guy. I would hate after all this to have the thing warp. I mean, it's going to be set in place on the cowl and, and the dash rail anyways, but uh, well, and then uh, I still got to see. I also have to get rid of this gas hole right here because everybody has at least one too many gas holes in their life. So we need to get rid of those gas holes. Insert bad joke here.
Okay, I got that uh, former gas tank all cleaned up, ground off some of the rough welds there, or uh, rough edges, sorry. I don't want to cut myself in the future. Um, I still have to get rid of the uh, previously mentioned gas hole, but uh, that's it for now. Okay, I got this uh, panel set back in place for now. Um, I want to, uh, like I said, get rid of this. So uh, just gonna use that little tip again. Works great. Well, if you can see that. So there's a little bit of lead underneath. You gotta be really careful. Uh, or a respirator or something, if you're gonna be cutting with plasma or uh, whatever you're using. 